Hi there. I've had a lot of people ask me how I would translate the coconut crab scheme to gene stealers, so I thought I'd do a quick video to help out. If I follow the game's workshop example, I'd just paint them entirely in the exoskeleton color and not use the crab scheme at all. I don't find that very interesting visually, so I want to work the crab scheme in there somehow. Now, gene stealers don't actually have chitinous plating like most tyranids, but the nice thing about the coconut crab pattern is that it's not reliant on any particular surface geometry, so I can choose to apply it wherever I want. So here's my gene stealer, primed white, and I think I'm going to paint the back with the coconut crab colors. So I take Viejo model color orange brown and paint in the first two stripes of the pattern. As in the regular coconut crab tutorial, I now block in the Viejo model color German camo black brown in the middle of the pattern. Then I go back and fill in the orange brown too. So here's the gene stealer after I've blocked in the pattern. Pretty straightforward. And here's the gene stealer after I've added the dots, exactly as in the regular coconut crab tutorial. I'll be relying on washes to define most of the texture on the back, but the raised spines have hard edges that should be highlighted. I do this quickly and in my normal way with a mix of black brown and white. After applying this highlight, I'll go back and clean it up with black brown to ensure only the edges are highlighted. The carapace is done, so now I paint the claws and details as normal. Now the entire model is washed, except for the claws. And it's washed a second time. At this point, it just needs the eyes and teeth painted, and then a coat of varnish. Here's the final product. The main lesson here is that the patterning can be applied anywhere, so don't feel restricted to just areas sculpted as flat carapace. Hopefully this helps those of you looking to paint gene stealers in this scheme, and thanks for watching.